Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is the American immigration policy at the 21st century. And of course, we have with us to talk about the American immigration policy at the 21st century, uh, Dr. Michael McDonald from Tennessee State University in the Department of Political Science, History, and uh, Geography. And of course, uh, Dr. McDonald, let me welcome you to uh, the show this morning. Well, thank you, Dr. Haney. It's good to be here. And to tell you how delighted we are to have you here, and especially to talk about what I consider to be a very, very timely a topic, the American immigration policy, and indeed in a real sense it's a policy that we rarely, re rarely reflect upon, but we've had many opportunities over the last many weeks to think about uh, what it means to uh, be an immigrant right. in the uh, United States. And so, and so before we get into uh, the American immigration policy at the 21st century, uh, Mr. McDon uh, Dr. McDonald, let's see if we can uh, have you to give us some information about your background, your okay. education, and some of the things that were important in terms of eventually leading you to uh, Tennessee State University. Uh, in a real sense, some of the things that you've talked about, because right. we've had you on a number of occasions, and you really ought not to be an unfamiliar face with uh, many members of our audience. But nevertheless, let's okay. talk about it from that perspective. Okay. Well, again, Dr. Haney, thanks for having me on your show. Uh, in terms of my personal background, um, I was born in, in Buffalo, New York. Uh, grew up in Huntsville, Alabama, where I finished high school, and I went to undergraduate school at MTSU in Murfreesboro uh, my senior year as SGA president and then uh, from there I went on to uh, graduate school at Southern Illinois University in Carbondale mm -hmm. and where I got my master's in public administration public policy mm -hmm. and during graduate school I interned uh, with the Illinois General Assembly and had a fellowship in the office mm -hmm. of the governor uh, James R. Thompson who also uh, was one of the members of the 9-11 Commission mm -hmm. uh, when I finished uh, graduate school I uh, went to law school on a Thurgood Marshall Clio Fellowship and uh, mm -hmm. finished uh, at John Marshall Law School uh, in 1987 and relocated mm -hmm. back here to Nashville. And for about uh, 12 years, I served mm -hmm. as the uh, Administrator of Elections for mm -hmm. Nashville-Davidson County. Mm -hmm. And then after that period of time, uh, I've had the opportunity to mm -hmm. serve as a, a member of the faculty at Tennessee State University as an assistant professor of uh, political science. Mm -hmm. Very good. You know, uh, Dr. McDonald, what we'd like to do today, as we indicated, is to talk about uh, the American immigration policy at the uh, 21st century. But let's have you to uh, react to an, a statement that we hear so often that uh, in the United States that <coughs> we are all uh, uh, immigrants uh, one way or the other, uh, uh, that this is a, quote, country of immigrants. Let's talk about it from that perspective. Well, we, and when we think about the United States of America, at least most people think about it in the context of a, as a melting pot. Mm -hmm. You have uh, individuals who've come from, from every continent on, on the planet. And in terms of just the very founding fathers, the pilgrims mm -hmm. uh, themselves, of course, were not mm -hmm. native, so to speak, mm -hmm. of, of what we now know as the United States. Mm -hmm. American Indians and Eskimos were, mm -hmm. the, were in fact, uh, the original mm -hmm. uh, uh, Amer uh, Americans to the extent mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. we had individuals who were on this land, who, mm -hmm. who worked the land, who had the land. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the majority of the individuals who have been Americans mm -hmm. uh, really have dual citizenship to some degree because mm -hmm. they arrived here from other countries mm -hmm. uh, having crossed the seas, either the Atlantic Ocean or mm -hmm. the Pacific Ocean. Mm -hmm. And um, for example, even African Americans, I mean, to mm -hmm. the extent that um, they were slaves and slaves, they mm -hmm. still uh, were not uh, considered to be uh, citizens. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think I mentioned to you that mm -hmm. African Americans are the only uh, people who were created mm -hmm. by Constitution according mm -hmm. to the 13th and, and the 14th Amendment. Mm -hmm. uh, and so if you look at United States and break it down by culture, it doesn't matter if, mm -hmm. if you're talking about Asia, if you're mm -hmm. talking about Europe, if mm -hmm. you're talking about the Pacific Rim, if you're talking about Africa, mm -hmm. Uh, if you're talking about Australia, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. uh, all of those continents mm -hmm. are represented here mm -hmm. in terms of uh, Americans who claim um, to mm -hmm. have uh, mm -hmm. roots to those different mm -hmm. those different continents. And so we are we are a nation of immigrants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. And of course, uh, in a real sense, uh, and, and I think as we make preparation for the uh, uh, first commercial break, uh, what we'd like to do uh, <clears throat> when we come back during the second segment is to. Uh, deal with uh, some of the phases of the uh, immigration po uh, policy in the United States, which is to say that uh, 
<clears throat> after the establishment of the country, where did these people come from, okay. and how did they come, and where did they, uh, what groups did they represent, and et cetera. Mm -hmm. Because I think that uh, now, and I think that you can even hear this uh, as I try to stretch this uh, before we um, have this first commercial break, but even when you listen to the uh, more recent discussions dealing with right. immigration, you feel that uh, there are a large number of folks saying that these folks ought to what? Go back to where they came from and et cetera. But the truth is, as you've already indicated, that all of us, for the most part, with the exception of very, very few Americans, <coughs> came from somewhere else. And of course, when we come back, we want you to deal with that. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. The topic is...